Hey guys, White Tiger 101 back here with another video, and today I'm just doing a talk video on safety um, or medical things. So I'm just gonna be giving you a little lesson in medical treatments, like like if you got hurt or cut or something, and this video might help to to solve some problems that could occur from that. Let's just get right into it. Okay. Now, the first lesson I want to give is blood loss. Now, you could, no, you could suffer very badly if not die from from too much blood loss. So, let's say you got cut on your arm right here, and you're bleeding very heavily. What you're going to need to do is cut off the circulation to your arm, so no more blood is is coming out. So, what you're going to need to do is take like a belt or something. And then let's say you got the wound here. You're gonna need to have something put a lot of put a lot of pressure on your arm, wrap around it, so the blood circulation gets cut off, and then no more blood can go spilling out of your arm. So you could use anything like a belt or a uh, a wristband or something something that that can go really tight around your arm um, or and police do have these things that are meant to go around their arms or legs that they tighten up really good and then it cuts off the circulation so that's what you'd need to do and you'll most likely have like a belt with you so I suggest you use that and also when the when the circulation gets cut off, um, you, um, your arm will go numb. You won't be able to move it or even feel it, for that matter. But since you can't feel it, you won't be able to feel as much pain. You'll still feel a lot of pain, but not as much. Now, next up is, is, um, is small cuts. So let's say you got a a small cut, but you're still bleeding somewhat a lot. Now, now my mom uses this oil called lavender, and so it's a lavender oil, and you put it on a wound, and it stops the bleeding. And you might need to put like two or three drops, but and the reason I know this is that yesterday, let's see right there right there on my finger I was trying to cut a box open and I cut myself and I was bleeding pretty bad and it did hurt yeah and so she put on this lavender stuff and it stopped the bleeding pretty fast now if you're wondering where to get it I don't know <laughs> um, you can I'm guessing you can buy it online. Just look up lavender oils, and then um, you you might find it. I'll I'll show you I'll I'll, I'll show you um, I'll bring a bottle um, in and show you and show you it in my next video, and then I'll sh and then I'll tell you why. So, anyways, um, so I'll show you the lavender bottle in my next video. But anyway, so yeah, take the so this lavender oil really helps. It you put it on, you put it on the wound, and it stops the bleeding pretty fast. Now it won't stop it immediately, but it still stops it pretty fast. <coughs> not sponsored, by the way. Sadly, yeah, this video is not sponsored. Um, but but um, I but this is all part of the safety lesson so yeah okay now safety lesson number three now this is one that you probably already know and that you probably taught in like preschool probably before then but do not play with knives or just be very careful with them that's actually how I got how I got that right there I, I was cutting up in a box with an with a knife I don't know why I was using a steak knife, but I was using a steak knife for some reason, and then and then I stuck 
stuck it through, but my I was using my other hand to hold the box in place, but then I got it too close to where I was cutting, and then I cut myself. And, yeah, so, if you're trying to do something similar, um, hold the box away from, from where the knife is so that you know you're not going to cut yourself. And then, that way you can... Sorry, I have something in my eye. Um, and then, if you do that, if you're careful with knives, you can, you can just cut away. As long as you don't cut yourself. And, uh, safety lesson number four. Sorry. Um, safety lesson number four is if... If you... If you see... Okay, this one's a little more for adults and teenagers over the age of 16 that that have a car. So, if you're... If you're a kid under the age of 16, you don't have a car or anything, then you can stop watching this video. This is mainly for adults. Anyways, so, if you, so, every time you get out of your car in a public place, check your, check under the door handles for pennies or coins or just something. And if you find something, call the police quickly and just leave the leave the coin go just call the police and wait for them to come and then and then get in your car and lock the doors the reason for this is robbers who try and steal your car when you go somewhere they'll know that the door is most likely locked so they'll put a coin under under your door handle and then it'll and then that will stop and then they'll be able to stop you from locking the doors to your car they'll be able to stop you from locking the doors and then they and then they will follow you to the next place you go and then they know that your doors won't be won't be locked they'll get in your car and they'll steal it so if you find a coin under your under your um door handle then be aware that someone's trying to steal your car and yeah so that was safety lesson number four kind of the most serious one and then finally safety lesson number five um safety lesson number five is if you see a USB stick in a wall I think that's how you say it USB stick USB drive um, or something like that if you see one sticking out of the wall do not touch it don't touch it now so people will I'm, okay so I'm not exactly sure why but I know it has to do something with bad guys trying to trying to send viruses to your computer or steal your information and your money and all that stuff and you can just look up a video about USB drives, USB sticks, whatever you call them in walls and then and why you shouldn't touch them then just look up a video about that and then that person will most likely, t likely tell you tell you about it better than me because I mean I'm not very good at this stuff but yeah so you just stay follow those rules stay safe um, buy that lavender oil I told you about my mom would be happy about that um, and so follow those rules buy the lavender and stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.